Now let's get to some of your thoughts on our big story from last night, looking at Portland's new city council in 2025 under the new form of government. The man leading that government transition is interim city administrator Mike Jordan. He guided us through the changes. Apart from tripling in size from four to 12, Councilors will no longer make day to day decisions for bureaus as they do now. They'll instead focus on big picture policy to guide the city, which includes the task of tweaking and finalizing the budget, which is around $8 billion. One viewer on YouTube wrote, the biggest change will be that the councilors, while they will have individual voices, none of them will have individual decision making authority. Good point there. Mary also. I'm just wondering why we need more people and more expense on the city council and so far the city council hasn't done much of anything as well as the mayor except run portland into the ground so why do we need more bureaucracy and more people i can't see it what we need is results and some common sense and a um, consideration of the cost of all of these ridiculous programs that they want to force us into. All right, thanks for your comment. You can bet that we'll be keeping a close eye on how everything functions with this brand new government. And last night, like many times after we have Mike Jordan on the show, we got messages like this one. I love Michael Jordan. Bribe him, threaten him, please make him run the city. <laughs> well, he says he'll stay on from this July to next July, but then he's done. And how about this cartoon from a viewer named Jennifer who wrote Mike for mayor? Can he write a guide for idiots? Thanks for this, Jennifer. And we'll be sure to sit down with Mike Jordan again in the near future. We're now less than three weeks away from the soft launch of the government transition, which is on July 1st. The official change happens in January, January 1st of 2025.